Did the shorts cover? No? Hmm. What are we talking about? All right. So, <laughs> as you can see, I do tend to have fun too. Can I have some fun? The shills won't let me have fun in the comments. <laughs> it's like, they don't like when I'm beefing and they don't like when I'm having fun. They don't like, they don't like this, they don't like that. 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 They don't like this. <laughs> you motherfuckers are something else. I could be like walking a dog and they're like, Phil, come on. You're walking a dog and posting it on YouTube and here it is. We got a debate to worry about when it comes to AMC. I'm like, did the shorts cover? No. Then what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> people, I don't think y'all get it. Some of y'all, some of y'all real people too. It's crazy. You don't fucking get it yet. You're supposed to hold <laughs> and never fold. Because we sense this from the beginning. From the beginning. So, yeah. Phil, what's up with all those dolls and masks that you're wearing? Well, I already, ex I already explained. I'm a horror guru. I'm into horror movies. I actually uh, won a horror contest you know with the cosplay when i go in i goes the fuck in okay and um uh, yeah i do tend to uh <laughs> have fun with it because you know you only live once you know these people act like we're, we're we're gonna have like two three lifetimes and it's like bro i know people that's doing life in prison they wish they could be doing some of this stuff that i'm doing like you don't get it this is what I'm coming, just like, when people say they from the street, I'm really from the streets, you feel me? I done seen people's life cut short, you understand? So, when you see me making certain videos, not only <laughs> is it fun, or, you know, comedy, it's like financial comedy, if you will, um, but also, you know, it has a message that's in it too, you know, it's, it's, it's way deeper than what you think it is, you know? So, and <laughs> I'm sure everybody is loving those uh, Alpha and Boston videos that I'm making right now. <laughs> so uh, I appreciate everybody at least getting a chuckle while we're being fucked in the market. I mean, don't you guys want that? Like, that's basically like, look at what Trey's doing. Trey's trying to do the same shit. He's he just he just did an imitation of Kramer. I did a I did a Kramer like an evil Kramer. I mean he's already evil. However, it's like deep dark demented version <laughs> because so many people lost money because this guy said, "Huh, Netflix, bye, bye." Got me fucked up, man. <laughs> Got me fucked up. I don't know, man. The way I look at this, the way I look at this, don't you know? I grew you know I came in in the political world. And one of those people, one of the people I did watch that did political comedy was Bill Maher. You know, I watched Bill Maher. He was funny at points when before he got all weird and shit and cancel culture ish. You know, I don't watch him like that no more. But however, I do respect the fact what he tried to do, which is talk the real shit of politics and add some humor to it. Because, I mean, come on, you're going to need some humor when the world is fucking you. <laughs> you're gonna need the you're gonna you're gonna need some humor, man. I'm telling you. Like, this is all of this is part of the psychological process to help everybody move the fuck on, let these days and months and years maybe go by. We don't know what's gonna happen. However, we know that we want. You know what I mean? So no matter what happens, no matter what happens. We still won. Now, let's talk about today. Everybody's in my comments, some guy. Look, I don't see how we can go from talking about wars and, and, and going to war, and then here we are, we're playing games. Listen, you got to be able to do two things at once, man. If you can't do two things at once, you're the real pussy. You feel me? So, 
in my mind, you know, as I had my debacle with the guy from New York, you know, I saw <laughs> that I lost myself. I'm like, ah, ah, like I said, I saw his shit and I vented on YouTube when I shouldn't have. You know what I mean? I should have just laughed at the shit. See, what happened was I saw his Twitter first. Now, if I only seen his YouTube video and then he and I only saw just that, I probably would have made the same type of response and just made a little ha ha he he joke or whatnot. But beforehand, I saw that tweet and I ah, you know. But it's behind me now. I don't give two fucks about it. You know what I mean? However, everybody spent money today, right? And look what happened. Well. <laughs> Not just because we spent money, but because they've been preparing for war. Crypto dipped like a motherfucker yesterday, and it's dipping like a motherfucker right now. Matter of fact, it should be a trending topic somewhere. So, yeah. But nothing changes when it comes to these particular stocks, you know. And it's kind of going where I, you know, mentioned, you know, hey, crypto, you know, when the market crashes... And everything goes to shit. Crypto is going to take a nice dip. AMC and all these other, you know, manipulated stocks are going to soar to fucking crazy norms. We're going to be able to cash the fuck out. And then we're going to be able to fucking buy fucking crypto for the cheapest price. And then it's going to go whoop, right back the fuck up. What you're waiting on is the correction of the entire market. That's all you're waiting on, people. You're waiting on the correction of the entire market. At this point, hedgies have found ways. They got protection. They got everything I've already mentioned. They got everything that's protecting them. Now, Phil, what about that market manipulation shit you were talking about? Well, hey, listen, maybe it ain't happening overnight, but we don't know what these motherfuckers got up their sleeve. Okay, we don't know. I don't know. However, I don't want to give them the ammo either. You feel me? So, you know, to see what it did today, it's not surprising. For those who actually, you know, understand what the circumstances is, it's not surprising. I mentioned in my video this morning, there is a handful of individual apes, you know, and I get it. Some people don't like to be called apes. They want to be just retail investors. Fine. You're retail investors. Okay. Okay. There's a handful of retail investors that's purchasing correctly. They're buying through a lit exchange. They are doing just that. They're able to direct their trade to the NYSC. Some other motherfuckers who really don't give two dams about nothing, they're actually still using Robinhood, Webull, you know, all these other fucking, oh, I got it for free. I can actually trade it if I get a free stock. You know, I get a free stock and this and that. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, do you, are you sure you got that? Like, you just on a phone, motherfucker. Like, you're supposed to call somebody and say, hey, I got that. Oh, you don't know? Oh, wait, I got to wait how long to get a call back? Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's one of the reasons why Eight Father got off of Robin Hood is because <laughs> I, was, I was right. Like, come on. You got to actually call. Like, you got to set up an appointment to call somebody? Nah, I want to talk to somebody now about my shit. Now. You know what I'm saying? So... That's all I'm saying, people. Like, you got to be able to understand that you bought something. You're supposed to be able to look at your shit when you buy it. Not just look at it on the interface, but look at the motherfucking paperwork behind the fucking scenes. You know what I'm saying? So, that's all I'm saying. And so, at the same time, just have some fun with this shit. Because at the same time, yes, it fucking hurts because it's, everything is going down, going down. But once everything has a correction... You're not going to give a fuck about what the fuck happens or how long it took you to get there. Because, see, this is all a part of the process, as I mentioned. You're supposed to go out and get a job. You're supposed to go out and do those hours, make extra money, go and purchase if you want. You know what I'm saying? You'll feel good. You'll feel great. You'll make jokes. You're going to, you know, some people say, well, hey, Trey made a million dollars, so he doesn't give a fuck. Well, hey, listen, at least he was upfront about it. He didn't sit there and say, yeah, it's a badge of honor <laughs> like that other guy. OK, so that's all I'm saying, people like, listen, you, you could be in the same boat as the rest of us 
who understand, okay, yep, here we are. We're just hanging in there, chilling. Yep, if it goes down to however many dollars, we don't give a fuck. We're still holding. We're holding and never folding. Yep, what are you guys eating for breakfast? What are you eating for lunch? What are you eating for dinner? <laughs> it doesn't matter. Have the shorts covered? No? <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs>